Hey, Bob. Bob. Yes, Coach? Is something wrong? Well, coach, everything's fine. Then don't hand the ball to the opposition. Sorry, Coach. I really don't know how it happened. Now you're not with it. You're like a zombie. Have Dr. Olsen take a look at you. Go on. All right, let's run it again. Miller, step in for Bates. Come on, move the ball around. Pass it. Pass it. Hi, Doc. Hi, Bob. What's the problem? I can't sleep. See you. Hey, how's it going? All right. Nothing wrong between you and Pamela, is there? There's nothing right between Pamela and I. Sorry, sir, I just need sleep. What did Shithead say? Not now, Bob. I want to know what he said. He didn't want anything. Except to get beat up. And you're not doing anything. He was my boyfriend. I can take care of him. Go and take a shower. I'll see you later. Hi, Pam. Working hard, Daddy? Oh, hi, honey. Have you got any objections to my going up to the campground with Tom? You know I don't like the kid. It's like only gonna be for a couple of hours, Dad. Okay, but I want you back before dark now. Thanks, Daddy. Remember, before dark, those woods are very dangerous. Okay, bye. Come on, hug. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who I ran into today? Who? Oh. Nora Landers. Do you remember her? No, I don't. Pass the ball, will you? Her father used to run this place before we took it over. You know what she says? This used to be an Indian burial ground. She says it's haunted. And that her dog was clawed to death by the old shaman. Mm -hmm. You know about it? It's just a legend. Well, tell me. Oh, some medicine man put a curse on his tribe. Said he was going to keep this spirit's prisoner here. Where's Ben? Hi, Ben. Hi. What's the matter? I lost my teddy bear. Your mom is looking for you. Outstanding. I mean, it was fantastic, Rose. Awesome. I think we ought to get married. What are you laughing at? Nothing. Give me my shoes. Where are you going? To hire us a cantor. I'm Presbyterian. Well, I'm Jewish. Oh! 
Rose, <gasps> hey, are you putting me <gasps> on her? night, okay? Rose! What are you doing in there? Listen, are you all right? We really got... <gasps> Jesus, what the hell is... <laughs> Sure, this is the right road. Tony, let me navigate. Wilderness weekend. Huh? I bet it snows. This isn't good for my ovaries, Sid. Ever since that trip to the abortion clinic, your reproductive system has been very weak. I noticed you stole one of my chocolate bars. Thought I wouldn't notice that you thieving little witch. I sure did, Sydney. Is that all you Don't think call about me Sydney. Chocolate? Nobody calls me Sydney except my mother and Oral Roberts. No, mostly I think about Frank Sinatra and Novocaine. I need the chocolate for my energy. Energy for what, Sid? Energy for making you my own, my little vixen of love. No way. As hard as that, I'll never get. Boring. Life doesn't agree with you. <laughs> Keep straight. It's about three miles down the road. I'll keep you inside anyway. Okay. about the brochure, Sharon. Look, I guarantee you this is gonna be a weekend. You'll never forget. Just so as I can use my canoe. Yeah, okay, kayak, kayak. Could you check me in at the camp? I'm gonna cruise around for a little bit. Yeah, don't get lost. Tony, why the hell did you stop? The support 
our boys in uniform. He's cute. Why not? He's mine, honey. I saw him first. You won't know what to do with him anyway. Hey. Come on. Do you think you're... Come on. Are you heading up there? All the way. Okay. What's your name? Ben. Hey, guys, it sounds Ben. Yum, 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 yum. Like a rubber. Up yours. <laughs> Don't let them fool you, Ben. They love each other. I'm Tony. Hi, Tony. And that blob over there, that's Sid. Beware I... of the blob. I creep. And there's Tracy and... Me uh... sissy, you man. And I'm Carol. You live around here? Uh, yes, I was born here. Yeah, right over there. You can still see the stain. Shut right up, that Sid. Over there. Well, that's perfect. You know any place we can stay? Yeah, well, my father runs a campground. But I don't know whether you'd like it, though. It's right in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere? It's great. We just love nowhere. So, Benjamin, huh? What do you love? You mean besides <laughs> Miami Vice? <laughs> Did I saw him first? <laughs> that I forgot my tux. You don't need one. But by the time we leave this place, I'll have made a real man out of you. Sharon, did old Scott tell you to turn you into a real woman? Only on Tuesdays. <laughs> oh, then put me down for the rest of the week. What are you doing here? Hi, I'm Dave Calloway. We just thought we'd camp here for a couple of days. The camp is closed. Are you serious? Do I look like I'm talking for my health? Hey, pal. You got a problem? No, no. The gentleman was just saying that... It's all right. We... My husband was just saying, you're welcome here. Georgia! How many times have I told you? Mom? Ben! <laughs> Mom! Hello, Mom. How are you? Fine. How are you, honey? You look great. So do you. Hi, Dad. Well, you look at him. How you doing? Who the hell are they? They're friends of mine. They're going to be staying with us for a few days. Well, you don't mind, do you? Let's go inside. Come on. I'll see you guys later, all right? Well, Pitch camp wherever you want to. Right go miss Adams and family. Nice place. It's Adams family over there. You're a bum, Ben! I lost it. Something scared it. Something, uh, down over there. There, look. Campers. I didn't know the riches had the gall to go and reopen their camp. In fact, they didn't. Well, what are they doing here? What do you care, Doc? Huh? We're in a democratic country. Everyone does what he feels. It's just the way I like it. Yeah? Well, you know what I think about democracy. Let alone campers. It's an old story. Just forget it. You think it's okay to leave the stuff here? Yeah, sure. Well, it's your stuff. What do you think, the engines had garages and padlocks? I wonder what it was like out here a hundred years ago. What's the name of the fat guy again? Sid. Sid. Sid! Sid! 
What is this? How do you like it? Not very much. There's more than a dozen out there. It's like a minefield. What'd you set all these traps around the house for? Because I'm gonna get him. Get who, Dad? The old Indian shaman. He's out there somewhere. as the Doberman ripped her to shreds. Oh, come on, don't be silly. It's probably just a woodshed. Not bad, huh? Pity. I wonder why the heck it was ever abandoned. Huh. Obviously a bad investment. The great outdoors. You really think the kayaks are safe? Come on. You're worse than your Aunt Maureen. So what about it? Now you go ahead. I'll catch up. You will like you.
I thought I told you not to set any more traps around here. You're gonna get somebody hurt. This is my property, my land. And I do what I want to. If somebody gets hurt, that's their problem. You better watch your damn mouth. No, you better watch yours. You don't think I'm on to you after all these years, Charlie? You don't think I know about you and Julia? She don't give a damn about you. She's mine! If you don't back off, I'm gonna kill you. Hey, the day you try that, you're gonna be a damn dead man. What are you saying, you, Robert? Oh, by the way, there's uh, a lot of kids around here. Anything happens to them, I'm gonna hold you responsible. What's your favorite music, then? I adore Tony. Oh. Stud. He's the greatest. He has good listening. I love Iron Maiden. Where's Sid? Hmm. Hello, Sissy. Um, oh, Wow, those smell great. Can I have one? Hold it. Yum. The biggest match, really. <laughs> Forgot the mustard. Uh. <laughs> it was only a hot dog. Maybe that's why she's so pissed off. See how you do it, Tracy? If I missed, you know you don't have to swallow, sis. No, you're so foul. <laughs> Stupid kids. I knew I shouldn't have paid any attention to you. you nothing but trouble. Should have kicked their asses out of here in the first place. They're friends of mine. Friends? <laughs> Some of us. I've got a job for you two. There's a bathhouse or something over there, but it's filthy. Why don't we clean it up? Not now. Yes, now. And tomorrow we can all take a shower. I took a shower when I was a kid. Yeah, and you smell like it, too. you for all the tea and lipids. <laughs> Sid, you idiot. <laughs> okay, okay. Here we are. There's still work to be done. Come on, sissy. Cheer Tony? up. Tony? You look like you burst your bladder. Whatever oh, you say, Oberleutnant. Me, guys. Anyone in? Tony? Oh, what is it we're playing? I know you're here. I heard voice. Sissy?
Robert. Stay with him anyway. Because he needs me. Come on. Well, ben needs me. Ben's a grown man. Hey. Still a young woman. Beautiful. Come with me. I'm afraid. I'm afraid he'll kill me. No, he won't. I'd kill him first. There's someone out there. Nobody there. Come here. is still down there someplace? No, I doubt it. Where could she be? Probably lost in the woods. What's the word on Scott? He's in the hospital at Coma. Now, don't worry. I'll send a couple of choppers in here. We'll find her. Yeah, the Aspen squad. I know those guys. They're hot. Just call the A-team up. You guys, stick around. I might need you. Sure thing. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> Gotta watch your mouth. I'm allergic to police. Ah, shut up, Sid. Any hope, Doc? These dumb accidents. This was no accident, Ted. I can tell you there'll be more killings. Come on. What are you talking about? Who's gonna be killed? My daughter Rose was not the only one to be murdered. Remember Bob Bates and Pamela Hicks? Sure. A bear got them. Hmm. That's what everyone thought. They had an argument that Sunday. About Tom. Oh, fuck off! Fuck you, Bob Bates! Can you hear me? 
talk to Charlie about this? I don't trust that man, Ted. Sorry. I've changed jobs. Going to Denver. There's a killer out in those woods. A heartless, bloodthirsty monster. I have to admit, Ted, you have every right to shove your head in the sand. But pray. This doesn't reach Denver as well. as well as he does. Phil. Hey, Twinkle Toes, come on! Wow, take a look at Dave. Look, sis, it's Sharon I'm worried about, okay? Is there anything we can do? So cool it. Tell us about the murder again. Well, this girl was killed here, and the murderer was never found. It was about 12 years ago. Then that means the murderer could still be around here. Will you stop it, please? Oh, hi. Mind if I join you? No, oh, sure. Why not? I can't stand certain people. Any news about Sharon? No. I hope nothing's happened to her. Sharon's a pretty tough kid. I think she'll be okay. Do you know Sharon Webb? Yeah. Oh, and she's not my girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. It's awfully silly. No, no. You don't need to apologize, really. Look, I... I thought I'd take a ride and have a look for Sharon. Would you like to come for a ride? Okay. Tony, stop. I gotta talk to you about something. You remember back before the Civil War when he was picking cotton with the Negras? A similar thing is happening right now. Dave is stealing your woman. Hi, Trace. Maybe I got other plans. Maybe I got other plans. Maybe I changed my plans. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I think Here's that's one, great. Two. I'll be out of your way in a second. What? I ignore her. She's just jealous because she doesn't know how to play. 
Anyway, hey. three, four, mm. and I win. What are you doing here? Sure do. <laughs> um, would you like some grape juice? Sure. I'm gonna take a shower. Did you say something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Legs up. <laughs> you guys. Stop fussing around. I'm getting pissed. I'll say it again. I'm getting pissed. known it was you. What do you want? I'll give you three guesses. I could be letting myself in for one big disappointment, couldn't I? Or one big surprise. Hmm. How big? Why don't you find out for yourself? I'm curious.
What do we do? It's not a real wall. There's a room back there. So what do we do? You go outside and wait. Where are you? I think he's gonna kill himself. 
morning. How's the gym? Well. Right there. You guys were all in on it? You were in on it too, Dave? It's okay, I'm not pissed. It was very funny. Your dad thought it was hilarious. Running into his kitchen naked. He's not a fun guy to begin with. It doesn't matter. What's for breakfast? Hey, guys, where's everybody else? Mm. Out of getting laid. I'm like, Sid. <laughs> Damn it! Why is everything always directed toward me? Every job, every... I've been... It's my only crime that I'm... Ah! Hey, Sid! What? You! <laughs> I think he's really pissed off, Shit. you know? Who are you, Les? Looking for you. I'm leaving. So after all these years, Charlie finally talked into him. Is he really better than me? He has nothing to do with it. What about this place? What about the camp? What, what about Ben? What about me? about myself. Julia, you've always thought about yourself. That's not true. You never tried to understand my problems. How hard it was for me to love you, knowing about him. I really did try to understand. But he's the only one who ever showed me any affection or any love. And I really need that. All you need is something warm between your thighs. Do you mind out of the gutter? You're a whore. Robert! Robert! 
Roughing you up again, Annie.
horrible. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> In the bathhouse, all dead. All dead. <laughs> what are you talking about? Where is it? Ah. Don't. No, please. No! Ah. Stay away from me, please. No. What? Stay away. Don't come any closer. Wait, please. Wait. This is as far as you go. Oh, yeah? me, Dave. No, no you didn't startle me. I heard you out here preparing for your little joke. Aren't you forgetting something? You want to come fish with me, Dave? No, I, I really don't. I'm a little tired. I just want to take a nap. You're getting laid, aren't you, Dave? I, I'm not what getting laid. What is it, a late. moose, an no. elk, a sheep? I promise. A little cow? I am not getting laid. I wouldn't do anything without first consulting you, my main man. Would I? Does your moose have a sister? No, my moose doesn't have yes. a sister. I love you, boy. <laughs> Give me my bird cage. You have I'm fun I'm going fishing, okay. Yeah, ta 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 Yeah, ho! Yeah, ba da ba ba
design Now maybe it's good to you man I saw something run into the woods. Someone tried to kill me, Ben. Look! Look, my hands, Ben! Jesus. He is back. What? What is back? The shaman. The old Indian shaman. My father's been trying to trap him for years. Shaman? Yeah. Shaman? Shaman belongs to the Yeti and all that other fiction. We're 1986! Come on. I saw him, though. I no. saw with my own eyes, Dave. No. I was eight years old. The girl was killed here. No. He did it. Right here! one too. Come on, we gotta find the girls. Come on, fast! Let's go call Sheriff Barnes. That hill's too big for this thing. behind the door. Mom? Dad? Anybody here? Dad? Mom? Anyone home? No one's home.
dear old dad. The Indian shaman. He kills Ben. He kills anything that moves. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? You've got to get us out of all this, Ben. You have to help us! He killed your mother. What? Yes. What? Yes, Ben. No. That's impossible. Yes, your mother. Your mother. Her body's out in the woodshed. I saw him do it. No. Not my mother. But she can't be. Why, no. She can't. She, no way. No. 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 Mom. Mom. All right, listen, we've got to seal this place off. Sissy, get a table. Carol, you and I, will we'll try one of those food shells.
Well, I'll tell you what, it'd take one hell of a psychiatrist to figure out why Ben did it. Sheriff, how many people did Ben kill? So far, the coroner's found the remains of 15. So he really did kill that girl a long time ago? No, but he knew who did it. So that and the curse of the old Indian shaman probably did the rest. Sheriff, uh, do you need us for anything else? No, you can leave any time you like. Out there. Mm -hmm. 